Sophie, he's so far away. Go, I'll hold guard and you go. Get him. Go, I'm not getting him. Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Sophie is terrified of the rooster now. I don't know, I don't get it. I don't understand it myself, because I'm not afraid of him. Oh, I did not even unpack my stuff yesterday from the car. I'm gonna have to do that. Oh my gosh, are you joking me? He attacked me already. So he attacks me too, just ignore him. He's just a little tiny thing. You just try and grab his tail and he'll run away. <laughs> try and grab his tail. See? See? Grab his tail and run away. But don't be mean to him because that's what causes him to be mean. The, the rooster doesn't even try and get Gabby ever. Yeah, Gabby, why? What's your secret? Time. How come the rooster never tries to kill you? Because I don't care about him. Yeah, that's what I do too. I don't care about him. The only time he tries to kill me is if I'm around his girls and I am walking away. If I'm walking away, he's like, oh, I'll get her now. No, I just chill there. Even with around the other chickens. There's a hole in the garden for the rooster. Oh, no. Anyway, welcome to today. It is Sunday. I planned to sleep in for half the day. I just wanted to sleep in till like 8 a.m. That was my goal. I was up at like 6.30, could not sleep. Tried to put myself back to sleep. It doesn't work. So, I was up at 9.30. Sophie was up at 9.30. Gabby oh. just got up. It's 12.16. She probably got up at 11. Anyway, it has been a wonderful, restful morning. We're headed out to do some shopping because it's gonna be school again. <laughs> Gotta be prepared. It is that time of year again, you guys. Pumpkin season. They're so cheap at Walmart. Get, yeah. Get one more. We should get five, really. Because five looks nice. We should get like this shape. A different kind of shape. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. We're good. Did you guys take all the groceries in? Yeah. All right. So Sam bought new lights for the barn. The chickens were in the horse trailer. Let me see if there's eggs in there. Oh yeah, see if there's eggs in there. Anyway, oh, they're gorgeous. So Sam bought new lights for the barn. Just for this barn? No, oh, yeah, and I, I put one so, going in the goat barn. I just put the new ones over there, and then I got two of these ones. All right, so a bunch of holes everywhere. In there. So he's putting new lights up here. All right, exactly and now. does this a motion, or it'll just stay on all the time? Uh, one will stay on, but one's a motion. One will stay on, and one is a motion. So in the winter, when the snow is blowing, I love looking at a barn and seeing like a light on outside. It's my favorite. So one will be on all the time and then one will be in motion. And then he did one, got one, a set for the goat barn. That sweater came in super handy, Gabby. So, Stick those lights in there. Okay. There's two different light bulbs here, so. Oh, I can't wait to see if they work. So we also picked up this, Sam found it. I'm also afraid to leave our pumpkins out because we're gonna come out and the chickens will be having a heyday. Chickens love pumpkins. All right, so it's this huge thing. It's too short. Maybe we should wait and let dad drive it down. We got a bunch of stuff at Walmart still on here too. Oh, uh oh. oh. All right, so we're gonna wait for him to drive it down for us because we can't carry it, but it's this big, huge thing and they can jump up on it. All right, here we go. Come on. This is the time of C. I don't know, but just turn it on for a sec so, so we can... only one's gonna go on. Oh, okay, so only one goes on because... Oh, there they go. Yeah, but then they're, they're they gonna turn on. Both of them? That's motion sensor one. Wow. So that's motion. Wow. There's some carrots for the goats or for the horses. I don't know why these are in here, but I suspect Sam hides these from me and eats them. I try so hard to make sure that he's healthy and he like... He is so tricky. Actually, these are the things he took to the horse show, maybe. I don't know. Anyways, this is, hi, my name is Laura, and I'm addicted to water. <laughs> when I just came in here and I saw this stall, I just had this flash in my head of us having another horse and it being in this stall, setting it all up. And I got this rush. And I'm like, holy heck. <laughs> because I believe in signs, you guys. Hi, guys. 
Why is there a pylon in your field? We're getting new drugs on Monday tomorrow, so we'll be trying a new, trying again. So for anybody who doesn't understand how the treatment for Lyme disease is, it's such an awful treatment. Like they just don't, like we were at the beginning of trying to like, it's not perfected yet. So how they treat Lyme disease, Ellie get out of the pool. Hey, get out. Sophie, we should put clean water in there. Ellie, get out. Well, basically, they measure the number. Okay. So you get a number at, with the test. It tells you how sick your horse is. And horses are all over in a range. She knows the numbers are high enough that they tell us he has late stage Lyme disease. So that means that his number is here. And every time we give him a course of antibiotics, which is like six weeks, then it comes down, but he still has it. So then the next course of antibiotics brings it down a little bit more, but he still has it. Then the next number, next dose of antibiotics might bring it down low enough that he's asymptomatic and he's fine, but he still has it. So that's how it kind of works. And so he's done his first course, well, almost done his first course of antibiotics. And then he moves on to his second, if he only had acute Lyme disease, meaning that he just got it, maybe one dose of antibiotics would bring it down enough that he would be asymptomatic, but that's not his case. So that's what we're working on, but I've been doing a lot of research. Sam and I together have been doing a lot of research because those are not, that's not the only way you can treat Lyme disease. It's the only way you can treat Lyme disease with uh, vet there are other ways like herbal medicines and and um other supplements so and like i said before it's not just about treating the lyme disease you have to treat his whole body too so it's not ever just taking antibiotics and then eventually it goes away he has to have um, um he has to have immune support so and even immune support it's about finding the right immune support that supports the horse. Like, they're all just so different. I called the girls, and Blossom was the first one. Yep, those are our babies. I was walking into the barn. I saw our empty stall, and then all of a sudden I had this flash of our new horse in there. Wow. A new horse. I didn't see the horse, but I just knew we were going to be using that stall. He peed on himself. When Sylvie was the only girl here. Where did you come from? It's not a normal day if somebody's not screaming at Ellie. Come on, Ellie. Are you locked? It's only in the dirt. Yeah, she likes to roll. Yeah, you'll have to tape it because I'll never remember. So there it is. Oh, see it? That's the new light. So that's so there's no motion detector one out here? No. So that light will just stay on. All night. All night long. So once the light comes on, and, and I love it down here with Here's the light me. on. It's gonna be covering that door. Yeah, we're gonna, so. Something like this. This is what it looks like over here. He's gonna build it here for our boys. They need, they need something like, see they have the rocks here too, that they can lay on. Look, he's looking. <laughs> the little buck is standing here. We're all standing here with our hands on our hip looking at the wall, and he's just standing here beside Sam looking in. All right, so this this is what we threw in this field for the goats to jump on, and they don't. And then we threw these here, remember? And then they ate it all up, except for obviously that part. But also, look at, we never cut this down, and the goats have eaten it all. All this stuff. So today we're going to take all this stuff out and we're going to put our new jungle gym in here. I want to do something different with this. I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> Sam wants to get another little weather because uh, the buck is not going to be staying. And he uh, gets... <laughs> and he gets so excited about the girls that this little guy gets neglected and ignored because he doesn't have anybody to be friends with. The buck is just all about mating and the girls are all calling him over. I like this boy. I know, we really like him. And one of the reasons that it's so good to have a buck on your property is because one, they'll tell you when your girls are in heat. Two, they babysit all the babies when you wean them. Like they're really good to have for that, but you don't need a lot of them. I wonder when his bits will fall off. It's been a really long time. Don't scare him. Hi, baby. Hello. Hello, cutie patootie. He's just happy to have somebody in his, in his field with him to play with. He's actually afraid of Ellie. <laughs> 
because she's a bit aggressive when she plays. Oh! We brought you a new toy! And we might find you a new friend. We should put it with the girls so it doesn't get stinky. I know, but the girls are all... Girls, the girls have already something to jump on. Like, they can jump on all those rocks. Right. And they run the whole field, the whole farm. These guys don't. All right, so that's it. Because I, I see him on the tire all the time. Yeah, the little guy's always on the tire. Mm -hmm. So if we, so this is like meant for little kids to climb up. But if we took these off, they could go under. It could be like a little, because goats like to go under. Well, that is one of the side effects of teaching the chickens to come to you. Every time they see us, they come running. So now they're close to the road. Come on. They're a little too small. Oh, don't jump down. Don't jump down. Look. Oh, so are, we literally just lost all of our chickens. <laughs> Sophie's over there shaking some grain. <laughs> they're all coming back. <laughs> Good boy! He did it! Good boy! Alright, he got up there himself. He went up the right way. Sophie, do you think we should cut the bottom out? So they can go under? I think that's such a good idea because right now they can't get through there. I think that's a really good idea. And to be fair, we could actually put that in their stall. So this is not where they're going to stay in the winter. We're going to put them in a bigger stall. We could put that in the middle of the stall and cut the rope off and it would be like a little climby thing and they can go under it as well to sleep. So another thing I want to do, <laughs> he's scared of the rooster, that's why you think he closed the door? Yeah. <laughs> Is that why you closed? Clean yeah, clean it up because we got to clean up this section be because this has got to be closed in the winter time. So we need to be able to come in that door. So that's what I want to work on too this week. I have a whole plan for this week's videos. Well, that's <laughs> Why are you saying it out loud, dude? This has to be, hold on. I feel like he's trying to say it so that uh, I do it. No, I'm gonna go in and have something to eat, something healthy, because my blood sugar is getting low. How dusty it is. Yeah. So you're gonna leave the doors closed? Yeah. So are we gonna hang up the TV? Do you think the TV would get too cold out here? It won't get too cold. I'm worried about getting too dusty, and then so I need a cover for it. When we're not using it. Yeah. And I need somewhere to put it still, so. I really want to watch TV out here when we're like waiting for Farrier or waiting for the vet. This is my plan for the week. I want to clean this place out, get it ready so that we can open this door, go through this door. Okay, here's the plan I had behind you. <laughs> no, we're doing it. You're dealing with it. Oh my gosh, the rooster's not going to hurt you. But also I have another video idea that I'm really excited to shoot. I wanted to shoot it today, but then we ended up. I wish I was a non-scared person. <laughs> I wish you were a non-scared person too. But Look at how brave Ellie trauma. is. You have had trauma. With but, shirt. But everybody's had trauma, Sophie. Yeah, but I'm a person that is still a chicken even though. I know, and is it okay to be a chicken? Yes, like is I it okay to be yesterday at the show. And did you work through it? Yeah. I was also telling Storm everything he did good when I was riding him. Yeah. I was like, please don't buck. The whole show, all you hear is Sophie saying, like, it's okay, you're doing good, good boy. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'll be really sad if I come out and all the pumpkins <laughs> are destroyed. People do put pumpkins near chickens and they eat them, so I don't know if that's going to work. So another thing that I think would be super fun, like we have projects that we can't do till spring. Like the bathtub project, I definitely want to do in the spring. And I think it's going to be a garden thing because it'll be too much work to dig it into the ground and then try and empty it, to clean it. 
and refill it. But also I want to make this into a big garden. I want to make it into a chicken friendly garden if there is such a thing. But also, what about if we made this into, oh, there's a little bookshelf. Everywhere I go, there's a bookshelf and a chair and a table. But what if we made this into like a little cabin? I see lots of places have like a little cabin on their property and then when people sleep over, they could sleep out here. It has like a nice little window. I think that this is a weed killer. Not good for us. But anyway, I think there has to be a way that we could make this into a little cabin. Just put like a little bed in here, some curtains, close all that up so no bugs can get in here. Wouldn't that be fun? All the stuff we found on this property and we've never really looked in here. Oh, there's like a little carpet. Gross. And there's this little planter. That's cute. That's actually cute. The rooster's like, you may think you got up there and you can't, I can't get you, but I can get you. Also, there's this old chair and all it needs is a, uh, like you couldn't, I, even I could make a top for this chair and then you could put it in your garden and put like a planter on it or build it down actually and put a planter. Oh, that one's too, that one's too small. Don't you know?